Assalamu alaikum everyone. This is Zaman Nazir and welcome to Knowledge Realm. Students, we are studying Pakistan affairs and in today's video, we are going to discuss Cabinet Mission Plan of 1946. So let's get started. Starting with the brief introduction of Cabinet Mission Plan, students, like we will plan, Cabinet Mission Plan was also an effort by British government to transfer the responsibility of running the state, that is India, to Indians. British government proposed the plan to solve the Indian political tangle. The plan was given by a cabinet formed by Secretary of State for India, Lord Pathak Lawrence, and it consisted of three people, A.V. Alexander, Pathak Lawrence, and Stafford Cripps. And uh, the plan was divided into two. There was a short-term plan and a long-term plan. And uh, unfortunately, the demand for Pakistan was rejected in the preamble of the plan. Still, Students All India Muslim League approved the plan. But Congress, first Congress accepted the plan. But uh, then when Congress saw the reaction of All India Muslim League, it rejected the plan. So why it happened? Let's see in the detail. So before studying cabinet mission plan in detail, I think first we should study the background of the society. What was happening in India at the time? Students, we all know that in 1945, British government was fighting against Germany in Europe and it was fighting World War II. British government was exhausted after World War II. I mean, it had, it had drained all its financial resources, it was drained economically and it could not afford to govern India anymore. Another setback that British government faced in India was the mutiny that erupted in Royal Indian Navy on February 18, 1946. Students, this was the first mutiny after the War of Independence that the people of India fought in 1857. So it became evident that now British government cannot rule India with the help of army because a mutiny erupted in army. Then, Secretary of State for India, Lord Pathak Lawrence, on February 19, 1946, announced the formation of Cabinet Mission to resolve Indian political tangle because the British government had realized that now we are compelled, now there is no other way and we are compelled to give independence to India. We cannot rule this magnificent state, this, this large state here and we should now just give up on this and we should just go back to Europe. So they constituted a cabinet mission to resolve Indian political tangle. So cabinet mission appointment was announced on March 15, 1946 by British Prime Minister Clement Attlee. This right here is British Prime Minister Clement Attlee and this cabinet consisted of three people, A.V. Alexandra, Patrick Lawrence, who was the Secretary of State for India at the time, and Stafford Cripps. Students, this Stafford Cripps was the same person who gave the Cripps proposal, and he was a pro-Congress. He always aligned with Congress. Secretary of State for India, Lord Patrick Lawrence, arrived at Karachi on March 23, 1946, and there he passed a very interesting statement. He said that it is in conjunction with Lord Wavell to discuss with the Indian leaders and selected representatives how best to speed the fulfillment of your aspirations to full control of your own affairs and thus to enable us to complete the transfer of responsibility. Students, this is a statement to complete the transfer of responsibility and um, to speed the fulfillment of your aspirations to full control of your own affairs. It shows that cabinet mission was constituted to transfer the responsibility of running India as a state to Indians. This was the main aim of cabinet mission plan because British government was exhausted after World War II and it could not rule India anymore. Then students cabinet mission came to India. It held meetings with leaders of political parties like the for example, uh, leader of All India Muslim League, Qadha Muhammad Ali Jinnah, and leader of Indian National Congress, who was uh, Abul Kalam Azad at the time. He was the president of Indian National Congress at the time. The cabinet mission held meetings with them. It held meetings with chief minister of provinces and opposition leaders. And uh, 
students leaders of both the parties that is Indian National Congress and All India Muslim League presented their demands and uh, tried to explain their position in front of this cabinet Congress as expected dissuaded cabinet mission it it tried in its best way to dissuade cabinet mission from accepting the demand of Pakistan for Muslims. On the other hand, Qaedaism explained that why Muslims and Hindus cannot live together. Qaedaism explained how Muslims are entirely different nation from Hindus and why Muslims should have a separate separate state. Qaedaism said, we are not a minority, we are a nation, and it is a birthright to get the right of self-determination. Qaedaism tried his best, and it was the efforts of Qaedaism that today we are living in an independent state, in an Islamic state, Pakistan. Then students, the leaders of League and Congress, presented their proposals in Simla conference held from May 5 to May 15 in 1946, but... Uh, both the parties could not reach any consensus so cabinet mission presented its own plan on may 16 and this plan consisted of two uh, two types uh, consisted of it, it was divided into two there was a short term plan and a long term plan well short term plan is very simple it was about setting the interim government all right short term plan gave the proposal of how to formulate an interim government they say the cabinet mission said that first we will form an interim government in the India and then we will start working on the independence process so the long-term plan was all about the independence and uh, transferring the responsibility to India and how what kind of a state India would be after after independence so this was cabinet mission plan so short term plan simply an interim government would be set up in which all portfolio would be handed over to the Indian leaders having the full confidence of people this was the short term plan now let's see what was the long term plan the long term plan given by cabinet mission was actually a kind of brief constitution for India it described how India would work after getting independence and uh, it described what kind of a state India would be, how it will, it will work, and uh, it gave some kind of uh, constitution that uh, consisted of these articles, I should say. Anyways, let's study what these articles are. First of all, students, Cabinet Mission Plan described the type of government for India. It said that a union of India consisting of British India and Indian states would be set. We all know that uh, the India that we see today, the entire India was not ruled by British government at the time. There were princely states also. So, cabinet mission plan, the long-term plan of cabinet mission plan, described that the independent India would be a union of British India and Indian princely states. All right, this was the type of government given by cabinet mission plan for India. Then how provinces would be divided now this is a very interesting and important point keep this in mind because we will discuss this in future and this will decide if the cabinet mission plan would be implemented or not so how the british divided the provinces students british government divided provinces into three it said that there would be a group a and group a would consist of provinces with hindu majority and then there would be a group b Group B would consist of provinces with Muslim majority and a group C. Group C consisted of Bengal and Assam. So these were the three groups of provinces proposed by cabinet mission plan. Then how power would be distributed? Simply union will exercise power in defense, foreign affairs and communications and all the residuary powers were given to provinces. This was uh, proposed by British government in long-term plan then students amendment of constitution how the constitution of union would be amended now this is a very interesting and important point keep this in mind because we will discuss this in future this is important let me read it out first the constitution of the union and the groups would contain a provision whereby any province could by a majority vote of its legislative assembly 
call for reconsideration of the terms of the constitution after an initial period of 10 years and at 10 yearly intervals thereafter. Well, it was a very long statement, but let me simplify it for you. Students, it simply states that province, provinces, the groups of provinces will have a right to amend the constitution. I mean, if a group, group A, B or C, that is Hindu majority provinces, Muslim majority provinces or Bengal and Assam, if you want to amend the constitution, just simply bring a majority vote of your legislative assembly and you can amend the constitution. But it should happen with a gap of 10 years at, in, at 10 early intervals thereafter. Okay, at 10 early intervals. After 10 years, after passing 10 years, you have the right, you can amend the constitution. So this was the process of amendment of constitution given by the cabinet mission plan. And students, this article, this main point of long-term plan became the bone of contention between All India Muslim League and Indian National Congress. And uh, this was the point that led to the rejection of this uh, cabinet mission plan. I'll discuss this in the in next slides and uh, you will make you will be able to make better understanding. And then distribution of seats in constituent assembly, the last point, how the seats would be distributed well very simple in order to elect the constituent assembly seats would be reserved for every province according to its population i mean if a if a province has a muslim majority then the then the seats would be more would be reserved for muslims in the constituent assembly muslims will have more seats so it would be in the in according to the population of the province so these were the five main articles or main points of long-term plan. This was the entire long-term plan given by cabinet mission in 1946 that described the type of a state that India was supposed to be after independence. Now let's see how the two major political parties of India reacted to this long-term cabinet mission plan. Students, the leaders of Indian National Congress reacted very interestingly. At first, Congress expressed great delight at the long-term plan. Why? Because in the preamble of that long-term plan, the cabinet mission had outrightly rejected the demand for Pakistan. The cabinet mission, the preamble of this plan stated that Muslims would never be given Pakistan and the partition of India is not possible. So Congress was ecstatic at this. It expressed great delight. The leaders were very happy. The Hindu newspapers, they were very happy. They expressed their satisfaction on the long-term plan. But this was just temporary and uh, things were about to change very shortly after that. The Daily National Herald, that was the newspaper, it commented the Pakistan of Mr. Jinnah's conception receives a state burial in the document submitted by the cabinet mission. Now we can have an idea of the of the great delight that the leaders of Indian National Congress was feeling at the time. We can make an idea by studying by reading these statements of their newspapers. Observer, that was another newspaper of uh, Hindu community. There, it commented. Congress can well offer can Congress can well afford to welcome a plan which comes down on its side by ruling out the Muslim dream of Pakistan. Very interesting. Observer believed and at first it thought that the cabinet mission plan is actually in favor of Hindus because it has ruled out entirely the Muslim dream of Pakistan. So Congress can Congress can well afford to welcome this plan. Anyways, so this was the reaction of Congress leaders. At first, they were very happy, but uh, things were about to change. Then, students, let's see how the leaders of uh, All India Muslim League reacted. Students, League expressed disappointment at the outright rejection of the demand of Pakistan in the preamble of the plan. But they accepted the plan. Why? Students, Qadazam Muhammad Ali Jinnah was a person of foresight. And his wit, his very, very amazing wit was incomparable. So he had seen, he, he, was, he was able to read between the lines. And uh, 
he had read between the lines of the long term plan so students lee claimed that the foundation of pakistan is actually inherent in the plan in the form of grouping of provinces i mean on one hand you are saying that the partition of india is not possible and we will not give you pakistan but on the other hand you have divided the groups of provinces group a hindu majority province group b muslim majority province what does it mean it simply means that you are accepting that muslims are a separate nation in india and their provinces should be separated so in this way you are accepting that muslims are a separate nation and this very provision of your long term plan it actually lays the foundation of pakistan so the foundation of pakistan is inherent in the plan in the form of grouping of provinces this was the belief and this this is how the leaders of all india muslim league interpreted the long term plan of cabinet mission plan then students the league passed a resolution in which it stated that it would ultimately result in the establishment of a complete sovereign pakistan what would ultimately result in the establishment of a complete sovereign pakistan the division of provinces the groups made by the cabinet mission plan they said that ultimately we will have pakistan the daily nawai waqf that was the newspaper of uh, muslims it wrote by accepting the mission scheme the league would be able to move a step forward towards the final destination of pakistan so this was the optimistic view of uh, the leaders of in all india muslim league and this is how they reacted they did not reject the plan in fact they accepted the plan because they could see that the plan is actually laying a foundation for pakistan so they accepted the plan and this was the wit of qadisa muhammad ali jinna cabinet mission plan ended in fiasco why because congress had rejected it students muslim league had already approved the plan for the plan gave a hope of independence of pakistan on the other hand congress first accepted the plan because congress had read that in the preamble of uh, the long term plan british government completely rejected the demand of pakistan congress was very happy with this rejection and uh, congress accepted the plan but when congress saw that muslim leaders were able to read between the lines and muslim leaders had seen a hope for pakistan in the long term plan in the two articles of long term plan first the division of uh, provinces the division of groups of provinces and second the authority of provinces to amend the constitution after 10 years congress realized that these two articles are actually a foundation these two articles lay a foundation for pakistan who knows after 10 years the groups the group b that was the hindu majority provinces they might amend the constitution and and that might lead to the formation of pakistan in 10 years no one knows so congress feared that the formation of groups of provinces and the powers vested in provinces to reorganize the terms of constitution could lead to the formation of pakistan in 10 years this was a thing that congress realized very late then students congress showed intransigence and rejected the proposals that led to the failure of cabinet mission plan students congress actually passed some statements uh, that uh, made league also compelled to abandon the plan to abandon this its support for plan league ultimately withdrew its support for plan and decided to take a direct direct action to attain pakistan why league did so well in 1946 jawaharlal nehru took presidency of indian national congress from abul kalam azad this was uh, the main problem he took the presidency and students jawaharlal nehru actually passed some statements that instilled doubts in league jawaharlal nehru actually said that we have the authority to amend this cabinet mission plan and we will amend this cabinet mission plan and this was the thing that british government also dis- disliked and british government also disapproved of this statement but listening to this statement league this this thing actually instilled doubts in league leaders 
in Muslim leaders and uh, they started thinking that who knows the uh, Indian leaders might betray Muslim leaders in the future. So they also abandoned their support for plan and they decided that we should not go for such plans and we should take a direct action to attain Pakistan. So cabinet mission plan ended in a fiasco and it could not be implemented. How cabinet mission plan of 1946 impacted the political activities of India. First to students, it gave the basis for Pakistan in the form of groups of provinces that moved Muslims closer to their goal. The British government had realized that uh, Muslims are not a minority. They are a very strong nation in India and uh, their provinces should be separated. And they had realized this and they had accepted this in the form of uh, grouping of provinces. They had uh, assigned the group B. They had given the group B of provinces to Hindu Muslim majority provinces. Students, this built the trust of Muslims in the political wit of Qadiyasa Muhammad Ali Jinnah. Qadiyasa Muhammad Ali Jinnah was able to read between the lines of cabinet mission plan and uh, he accepted the plan because he believed that the plan was in favor of Muslims and the plan will bring Muslims closer to their goal. So this wit of Qadiyasa Muhammad Ali Jinnah, this, this action of Qadiyasa Muhammad, Muhammad Ali Jinnah actually built the trust of Muslims in the political wit of Qadiyasa. Then it strengthened Muslim League and rejuvenated the determination of Muslims to attain Pakistan. Students Mukhtar Zaman said, fighting simultaneously against two powerful enemies, that is British and Hindus, is a unique and unprecedented event in the history of the world. Moreover, achieving victory in this battle is even more amazing, a phenomena, which is no less than a political miracle. This victory changed the South Asian history. Now, this, this was the quote by Mukhtar Zaman, and in these words, Mukhtar Zaman actually praised All India Muslim League and Muslims of uh, India. Then students, the failure of cabinet mission plan urged Muslim not to compromise anymore and take a direct action to attain Pakistan. The Muslims of uh, India, they realized that uh, the, the British government has realized that Muslims are a separate nation and then they, they, they expedited their efforts to attain their own separate homeland. So, we are done with this topic, Cabinet Mission Plan. I've explained it in detail. I hope that all of you now understand what this plan was. Thank you so much for today and uh, don't forget to like the video. Thank you. Allah Hafiz.